So I did a healing titan build the other day with some crazy healing and I'm going to add this to it, Lubre's Ruin and the perk Immovable Object. It's a really good glaive, solar glaive, projectile impact, grant increased weapon energy while you are stationary with your shield rays. So basically you can keep your shield up all the time as long as you get hits with it. It's also got a swashbuckler on there. Uh, I'm going to pair it with Laurelly Splendor Helm, your Sunspots Helios on top of your healing. You're also going to get ultimate resilience with the with the glaive and then I'm also going to run well of life so this is just a quick couple of clips again I did a video on this the other day regarding the healing so I'm not going to show you like loads of clips of the healing abilities it's just a quick clip just to show you how strong it is out of two times healing from well of life and the Laurel really Splendor are working together absolutely mental mental healing abilities and then what I'm going to do in the next sort of section of the video is show you the Lubra is ruin also working so not only are you healing getting all that healing from the two healing from the well of life and the helmet and the sunspots you can know I've got the Lubra is ruin out the raid glaive from the vow of the disciple and I'm actually invincible as long as I keep getting hits watch that shield watch the energy come back up that's the immovable object so you're healing and you're absolutely unkillable as long as you've got that energy back which you can do all the time by getting hits the rest of the clips I'm going to show you is just showing you how silly it is, how much resilience you've got, how much damage you can sponge and also the utility of glaives. Uh, I'm going to leave a dim link with the mod setup etc. I'll talk a little bit about the mods I'm using to get the extra damage also with Font of Might and taking advantage of the helmet and the sunspots. But like I said the rest of the clips they might not look the best but what I've done is I've purposely stood in situations where you wouldn't normally stand just to show it off. So as you can see here, I'm just stood in the middle of a load of enemies. I'm going to pop my banner shield, you get make use of my Laurelly Splendor Helm, the healing abilities from the sunspot. And I'm here and I've just got my glaive up and I'm pretty much unkillable to be honest. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, you can literally just run around and take the mickey. Stand in situations where you wouldn't normally stand. So a few more clips I'm just going to show you, then I'll sort of run through the build or the mods quickly and then leave a dim link in the comments for you. But I hope you found this sort of video helpful, it's just a little fun build, fun. Uh, you can obviously use your glaive for unstoppable, I picked up a nice pair of line rampants there as well, there was a 68 roll, I was uh, pretty chuffed with them. So yeah, immovable object, glaive, two times healing, lower the splendor helm and you're an absolute unit. Uh, been running it with Lamina as well which is another pretty strong gun for healing, healing your teammates. So yeah I hope, the, I hope you found the clips alright, like I said I just put them in just to show you how much damage you can actually sponge and how much healing you can gain from it. Having a good day and take it easy. So as I said, this is the build, I'm going to run it through really quickly because I did a video on it the other day. It's going to be revolving around the bottom tree Siege Breaker, Code of the Siege Breaker. We're going to take advantage of Sol Invictus, Endless Siege, Sun Warrior and Mortar Blast. So quickly Sun Warrior sort of gives you 20% extra damage when you're in your sun spots. And then with this helmet here... Uh, your sunspots heal you when you are critically wounded with full class ability energy or when you cast a barricade you create a sunspot at your location so every time you get damage you cast your barricade you're going to get healing and you're going to get 20% extra damage off a sun warrior and then the other mods that I'm running is elemental time dilation elemental ordinance well of life that's a pretty key one that gives you healing it also stacks with the helmet as well so well of life font of might so we're going to get the extra damage every time we'll pick up an elemental well the solar elemental well 25 percent and that stacks with a 20 percent from sun warrior also so you're going to get a nice 40 to 45 percent damage boost and then bountiful wells is another one that i run so every time i do create an elemental well i'm going to create two all together, it's a nice build. Like I said, I did do a video on it the other day. I will leave the dim link so you can sort of just copy and paste the mods if that's how you want to roll with it. But yeah, I hope it's been good.